And I, I rise today, Mr. President, to talk about the challenges facing the cattle ranchers in my state and across the country. Challenges not just to their day-to-day -day operations, but to their very livelihoods. And I rise today to talk about what we can do about it. And I have a simple message. We can take action today that will work. And we can take action that will make a difference. And we should take it now. The situation that faces our cattle ranchers in Missouri and around the country, and for that, many, for that matter, many other livestock producers is, are very, very serious, and the situation is frankly untenable. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Just in the last year, the cost to consumers for beef has increased by double digits. That's year on year from 2019 to 2020, double digit increase. What's happened though? to cattle ranchers, to those who actually raise the beef, who raise the cattle and then sell it to market. The price for them, has it gone up? No, it's gone down. In fact, over the last decade, cattle ranchers have seen their share of profits decline by double digits. So what's happening here? Cattle ranchers are getting less, much less in some instances, and by the way, so are other producers of livestock, and yet the cost to consumers is going up. Somebody is getting wealthy in this transaction, and that somebody are the packers, the processing companies. In America today, our processing, meat processing, uh, uh, supply chain, equipment, the entire apparatus is owned by just a small handful of companies. Here's what I'm talking about. Four companies, four, together control over 80% of this country's beef processing operations, 80%. Even more remarkably, three of the giant meat, ca uh, meat packing companies control 63% of pork producing, 46 of beef packing, 38 of poultry producing. That's just three of them. And two, two, Mr. President, are based in Brazil and China. So you've got four major packers that control 80% of the market, two of them based overseas. This market concentration is squeezing out the farmers and the ranchers. It is enriching the packers, and it's ultimately hurting consumers. And so I say again, in this system, the only people who seem to win are the monopolists. We've got to do something about it, Mr. President. It's made even worse, the situation, by the fact that these same monopoly packers have been found guilty or otherwise pled to criminal violations, criminal uses of their monopoly status. For example, Pilgrim's Pride a subsidiary of a Brazilian-owned company called JBS, received $107 million in criminal fines for price-fixing in chicken markets. JBS separately paid out at least three multi-million dollar settlements over the past year, while Smithfield, which is owned by China, has paid $83 million to settle pork price-fixing allegations. So here we have these monopoly country, companies two of them foreign-owned, that are controlling the meat processing industry, controlling the entire supply chain, squeezing American farmers and ranchers, raising prices on consumers, and committing criminal violations while they do it. Now, many have called, including me, for antitrust investigations. Some have called, including me, for antitrust prosecution. And I stand behind those positions. But, Mr. President, I'm here today to say that we must do more, and specifically, it is time for this administration, the Biden administration, to do more because they have the tools to do so at their disposal. Under federal law, the Secretary of Agriculture, Tom Vilsack, has the authority to refuse to provide or to withdraw inspection services from any of these monopoly packers or anyone who is reasonably connected to them who has been convicted of a felony or any other act or circumstance that indicates a lack of integrity as it concerns public health. That's a broad grant of authority, Mr. President. What it means is that USDA could right now begin to suspend the inspection services for these monopoly companies. To say to these companies, we're not going to allow inspections to go forward, we're not going to allow your production to go forward until you come to the table and agree to resolve and to cease any criminal misconduct and to give a better deal to ranchers and farmers across this country.
This authority is already existing under federal law. I want to be clear. It's already under the books, on the books. It's already provided for by federal statute. And our ranchers and our farmers need it to be used. And they need it to be used now. So today, I'm calling on the Secretary of Agriculture, Tom Vilsack, to invoke these authorities. Say to the major monopoly companies that USDA will suspend inspection services until they come to the table, until they open their books, until our cattle ranchers and our farmers in Missouri and across this country get relief. I'm making that request of the Secretary of Agriculture today. I hope that he will act today because our farmers and our ranchers deserve relief today and they deserve our help and our support as they work to protect 